Here we are at Oasis RV Park, Las Vegas. Our home's right there. And Bobby did a really good job washing the rig. I wasn't here yesterday, I had to take off for knitting. So, kind of left him to his own devices. He did a good job washing the rig. It looks really pretty, it's very shiny. He also did a great job washing the truck for the first time. I have not introduced the channel to the new truck, but it is a 3500 Ram diesel. It's big. That can tow Wanda very easily. Actually, too easily. I don't know I'm going 75. I have to remember that I'm towing to keep it down to 63, which is what I should be, which is my tow speed. Right, we're headed to the Williams Airstream Rally. I'm getting there five days, five days ahead of time, because I want to ride the train. And there's different classes in the train, and I didn't know what class everyone else was riding, but I wanted the class with no children. Ugh. Yeah, there's a no children section, 15 and under, no children. So that's where we're headed to now. All right, see you at Williams. Here we are in Kingman. It's time for lunch and I'm hoping they're open. Having a burger with jalapenos and it comes with fries. And the drinks are self-serve. I think this is the steakhouse that we had dinner in. I don't recall. I thought it was up there. Oh, well. We'll try the one up there tomorrow. <laughs> steak, steak, steak. We're at Rodeo Restaurant and Sports Bar. Okay, this was not the restaurant we had dinner in. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm doing well. Starting off with a salad and ranch. Mm -hmm. The lettuce is fresh. Nice and crispy. Okay, I got a pork chop. Onion rings, baked potato. Requested chives, they gave me green onions. So they don't know what chives is. So we're having it to go. The baked potato, the onion rings were delicious, nice and crisp. The pork chops a little bit. Fun. We are here at the Best Western. Supposedly there's a steakhouse here. We just have to find it. Hi, there's a steakhouse here supposedly. There is right over there. Oh, thank you. Right there. Service name is Cassidy, and. Uh, we're Hostess gave me water, which is very nice. And look at the size of this bread. Oh my goodness. And it's warm. Oh, look. Fabulous. Okay, we're gonna have New York strip, eight ounce, rare, with wild rice, fresh cut beans. And this sounds delicious. The jalapenos. French onion soup. Not too salty. Excellent. Got the eight ounce New York rare rice and green beans, and I ordered a side of jalapeno. These are delicious. Steak is nice and tender. So and cooked right. I would come back to this restaurant. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> it's at the it's at the Best Western. The sign is above me. We're at Tuzigat National Monument. I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. It is in Cap Verde, Arizona. This ancient village or pueblo was built by a culture known as the Sinagawa. Arge archaeologists with trade connections that spanned hundreds of miles. The pueblo consisted of 110 rooms including second and third story structures, including second and third story structures. The earliest datable rooms were built around 1000 AD. Okay, I don't think I can climb that. Well, we'll take a look. The, the road leads up to the visitor center.
Today we are at Montezuma Castle National Monument. It is at Camp Verde, Arizona, nestled into the limestone recess high above the floodplain of the Beaver Creek. In the Verde Valley stands one of the best preserved cliff dwellings in North America. The five-story, 20-room cliff dwelling served as a high-rise apartment building for prehistoric Sanigua Indians for over 600 years. <laughs> All right, we made it to Walnut Canyon National Monument. And this is in Flagstaff, Arizona. More than 900 years ago, the Sinagua built their homes here under limestone overhangs. Living in these single-story cliff dwellings from about 1100 to 1250, the people who lived here moved on to become the modern Pueblo people of today. Oh, okay, the Sanagua became the Pueblo Indians. Good to know. Yes, sir. Turning out to be a beautiful day. However, we are not doing the trail. It's three quarters of a mile around, but, the thing is, it's 237 steps. There's supposed to be a platform at step number 38, and I can climb back up. So we can do that. So 237 steps down and up again? I don't think so. We're not, <laughs> I have my cane, but that's not going to be manageable. Stamina is not going to hold up. <sighs> I don't even know where we are. <laughs> where are we? We're at Walnut Canyon National Monument. <sighs> okay, the staircase into the canyon is 273 steps. That's into the canyon. That means going back up again. No. The answer is no. No, 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 no. Okay, we'll put the loop around the hat. <laughs> we don't want the hat flying away. Oh, didn't count. <sighs> oh, you can see it from here. Oh, okay, we don't need, we're not doing the loop. You can see the dwellings from here. I did not realize that. Those are the dwellings. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. Oh dear. Oh look. More stairs. All the way down to the canyon. Okay, that's the end of our three national parks in one day. Oh, go ahead. Doesn't matter. People walk in front of me all the time. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a wonderful trail, but I don't have the stamina or the heart for it. We're in Flagstaff. There are Chinese restaurants here. There's none in Williams. So, hot walk. Got good reviews from Asians, but not Americans. So it's only got three stars on Yelp. But everyone with an Asian name, give it a good review. Montansu. Egg roll and fried rice. And I ordered Mongolian beef. It's the main entree. <laughs> 